This is a, I said before, <clears throat> last week or two weeks ago, I remember, can't remember when we started talking about this, but the social layer is proving itself to be um, a target for people who want to change Bitcoin. And I think this time has proven itself to be a formidable target um, for those people who want to attack the way that this thing works, which I, I was happy about. And, you know, the other thing I'll note, and we can leave it on this or you can add a comment after, but I think a lot of people now take interest in the way that Bitcoin Core operates compared to stuff like Knots. And they're looking at stuff like Opreturn. They're looking at stuff like Network Blow and asking, why, why is this the way it is? Whose idea was this? Where did this idea come from? How did this development uh, or this, this PR merge? Like, when, when did it merge? Who was the dev? Who was the... You know, who are the stakeholders? Who supported it? Who didn't? Stuff like that, right? I would never have known, for example, that Luke Dash, uh, Luke Dashier, Dash Jr., whatever the guy's name is, uh, you know, who's now super against stuff in, you know, whatever, what is the term he uses? Arbitrary data. Uh, you know, he's super against arbitrary data, but in 2011 and 12, he, like I said last week, he was pumping a lot of Bible verses into the blocks and he wasn't against that. Now you could say it's different than pictures and I would agree, but the principle of what arbitrary data is, is it should be consistent. And I, I enjoyed kind of learning a bit more about, you know, his past and Peter Todd's past and seeing some of the guys who, you know, who, who, you, who you kind of like know as Bitcoiners, they have opinions on a lot of things and you might follow them from your, you know, first foray into Bitcoin Twitter and maybe you haven't heard from them in a while or forgot why you followed them. You're starting to look at those guys now and think like, okay, well, what are your motivations? Well, who do you work with? Who do you work for? What are you, what are you pro? What are you against? And I think a lot of people are going to be paying attention to that now. That's one thing it did. Um, I think more than anything, it, it turned on a lot of what would have been lay, lay people not paying attention to, de to development um, may start paying attention now, which is great.